Hello friend! In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 fun and affordable pen and pencil cases to store your hand lettering supplies, your stationary supplies, or your favorite brush pens. I'll make sure to link them in the description box below, as well as my free seven day hand lettering course for those of you who may want to begin learning how to hand letter. So with that said, let's get right into the video. The first pencil case that I am showing you is the East Hill Big Capacity pencil pen case. This one comes in a variety of different colors and there's also a khaki color that I think looks really nice, but the one that I purchased was this one that is listed as yellow. You can see it's not necessarily a bright yellow, maybe a little bit more like a yellow orange, but it's only that color on the one side. According to the seller, this one is a little over 8.6 inches long and a little over 4.1 inches wide. It has the capability to be unfolded for a deeper pen case, and as you can see here, there are a lot of compartments and pockets for you to organize your stationary supplies. And even with all of these pens tucked away inside, it's still folded up to be quite slim and a great size to take on the go. The next pencil case we have is also very similarly called the East Hill Big Capacity. However, you can see that it's not the same one that I just showed you. But one similarity is that it can hold a lot of pens and pencils. In fact, the seller states that this one can hold up to 50 to 80 pens and pencils in the inner compartment. I did not personally test out quite that many, but you can see that I was able to fit a lot into this pencil case. This one has a lot of straps, so you could probably fit a variety of different things in here depending on which compartments you're using. I would even think that you could fit a smaller calculator or something similarly sized into some of these compartments. I really like that it has a handle so it makes it super easy to carry around, even if you have it packed full of pens. I also feel like I can't not point out the fact that this one is almost identical in color to my shirt. I guess it does make sense. This is for sure one of my favorite colors. The next one is this adorable cat pen or pencil case. It has just a couple of pockets on the inside, but it is mainly open to fill with loose pens or pencils. There are a few different animals to choose from as well. But the reason that I love this style of a pencil pouch is because it adjusts to become kind of like a cup on your desk to hold your pens or pencils while you are creating. You simply grab onto these little loops on the side and pull down. Then you can kind of adjust it to stabilize it a bit and then have easy access to grabbing your lettering supplies right out of the top of the pencil pouch. I want to point out that while this one does technically fit this one Tombow dual brush pen, it did need to be angled in there just right to make it work and even then it didn't feel like there was a lot of extra space. It might be okay if you have one or two taller pens, but for the most part I would not recommend this one if you are wanting to carry around several taller pens. And just in case you are not a fan of cats being on your pencil pouches, I also wanted to share with you this more modern looking version of the one that I just showed you. The details are very similar, but no animal faces here. The next pencil case I have is this three pocket pencil case. This one opens up to hold lots of your favorite goodies, but it may also be a great option if you like to store other things aside from pens and pencils. For example, I imagine I could put pens in one section, maybe a phone or calculator in another, and some kind of paper or something else in another section. According to this seller, this one is about 7.9 inches wide and 4.5 inches tall. Now, in comparison with this small notebook that I have, it wouldn't fit anything quite this large, but if you were to have a smaller notepad or journal, you may be able to fit it into one of these sides. The next pencil case here is one that they are calling a standing pencil case, and I clarify that because as you will see, I did have a bit of an issue getting it to stand up at first, so I want to share this with you in case you have tried this one and also were not able to easily get it to stand up. But first, let me show you this unique design. It has this front part that folds down with a tiny little pocket. I think this one will probably hold less pens than some of the other larger cases, but it still should fit many lettering supplies that you may want to take on the go. So at first with just a few pens, this thing really wasn't standing up for me at all. I didn't try too hard, but when I did try to stand it up, it just tipped right over. But after filming, I filled it full of some Karen Brush Marker Pro markers, and by full I mean I added about 25 markers to it, and I was then able to get it to stand up, though it wasn't the most stable of the standing pen cases. I think it's probably due to the shape. It's kind of wide and not very deep at the base, so mine wanted to tip backwards a bit. 
So if you like something unique and you don't mind a bit of extra work to get it to function well, or if you don't necessarily care if it stands, this fun design might be for you. But if you are going to be frustrated if the case tips over when you pull out a new pen, this one might not be the best choice. The next pencil case that I have is this plaid with pink accents pencil pouch, although it does come in several other color styles. And this one will also hold quite a bit of stationary supplies in the center with its wide base. And this one also has a side that opens like a window to be able to grab your supplies from the bottom instead of having to rummage through a big pile of pens in the bottom of your bag. There's a little flap on the fabric that comes up from the inside so that the pens don't fall out of the side when you unzip that section. And as you can see, this worked pretty well for me even after filling it with several different pens. If you wanna see a great picture of what can be held in this pouch, you might wanna check out the actual listing where they have laid out a bunch of different types of supplies and then showed them organized inside the pouch. I do wanna point out that they say the Tombow size brush pens do not work in this side pocket as they would be a little bit too long to zip. And as a bonus for this one, it has this nice loop to make it super easy to carry. Now pencil case number eight is similar in style to the previous one, but it appears to be much more compact. In fact, it just has this one zipper on the top, but when you open it, it is surprisingly spacious. While I fit quite a lot of pens into this pencil pouch, I want to point out that I did have a bit of trouble fitting in my longer brush pens into the middle section. But if you just want something compact that holds a lot of different supplies, then this might be one that you would enjoy. The next pencil case I have is another adorable cat pouch. This one is kind of a rubber-like fabric and it actually comes in two different sizes. I have the medium size here, which is the 2.4 inch by 7.8 inch, according to the seller. There are also several other animals to choose from. It kind of caught me off guard a little bit that it came with this how-to for the pencil case. However, I almost immediately saw that it was a good idea to pay attention to because just following my instincts, I pushed down on the bottom of the case with a pen to kind of pop it out and I could see a bit of the bottom of the pouch kind of discoloring a little bit, which makes me think that you could potentially damage the bottom of your case if you are not careful or if you are pushing out the bottom with your pen. So make sure to pay attention to the little how-tos if you do decide to grab this one. According to the seller, this one holds up to 15 pens, so you're not going to be able to carry a huge amount of supplies in it, but for me, 15 pens is typically enough for on the go. I also wanted to point out with this one that the taller Tombow size pens are not really a great fit. And the 10th pencil case that I am going to show you is one that I've actually posted a full review on. This one is huge and it holds a lot. But before you get too excited, please know that there are a couple of quirks that come with this pencil case. One of the main things is that while it does have individual holders for each pen, depending on which pen you're using, you may or may not be able to line them up side by side. In the case of the Tombows, I found it was much easier for me to insert them into every other loop, which worked out fine for me, but it meant that the pen cases held quite a bit less markers than originally was advertised. I believe this one is actually advertised as a colored pencil holder. Another thing is that because it does hold so much, it is very big. So it's maybe not something you would want to take on the go, but maybe a great storage option for the things that you want to keep in your desk if you have a really large collection of pens or brush pens or colored pencils or things like that. And again, if you are curious about this one, before you purchase, please, please, please make sure to watch my full review, which I will link here at the end of this video. My goals with reviews and recommendations is not only to help you find what will work for you, but also to help you discover what will not work for you. So go ahead and click over to that video and I will have a playlist ready for you that is full of pen and stationery style videos that I really hope you'll enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you over in that next video.